We want to talk today about areas of composite shapes, so things that are made up of a number of different figures. So you've got a circle stuck onto a rectangle or a quarter circle with a tri triangle or whatever it might be. So we want to look at a few of those and calculate their area. First one we're going to look at is here. We've got a semicircle and it can be a good idea to kind of mark on them what it is that we're looking at. So here we have a semicircle in blue. Semicircle here. And then in red, I'll mark this rectangle. It's a bit rough, that's okay. So we want to kind of think through how we're going to do that. The first one is a rectangle. I mean, let's call that A1. And so the rectangle, I think, is fairly straightforward. Rectangle, we can just say, okay, it's uh, A1. The first area is equal to 7 times 18. 7 times 18. And that is equal to, as I have my calculator out, 128, I think. 126, sorry, 126. There we go. 126 square centimeters. Now, my second area is up here, is this semicircle. Now, the first thing we need to recognize is that it has to have a radius. Now, we look at this 18. This distance all the way across is also 18. So that's how a rectangle works, which means that its radius is going to be half. So the semicircle radius... R is equal to 18 divided by 2, which is equal to 9 centimeters. So I'm going to write that in here. Okay, so the area A2 is equal to pi times the radius squared, which is, sorry, pi times 9 squared. But it's only half a circle. That's a full circle, so we're going to divide it by 2. So if we do that... And if we find what that is, it's 127.2345 dot dot dot. So 127.2 square centimeters. We're rounding it to one decimal place. One decimal point. Now, how do we find the total area? Well, you're going to add the blue with the red. So the total area is equal to... Actually, I'm going to change that to be area total, the little total underneath, is equal to 126 plus 127.2, and that's going to be 253.2 square centimeters. All right, so that's the first one where we find the semicircle, and then we find the rectangle, we add them together. Let's have a look at another one. Just have to break it up. This one's slightly different. Number two, we have a circle and then a square on the inside removed. Now, so we need to kind of do a subtraction. That's the center. So you see that this is 14. So let's think about the circle first in this case. The circle. The circle, the diameter is equal to 14 centimeters. So the radius would be equal to 14 divided by 2, which is equal to 7 centimeters. So the radius here, just thinking about the circle, is 7 centimeters. Okay, so we're going to have the area of the circle is equal to pi times 7 squared. 7 squared, which is equal to... Pi times 7 squared, 153.9 square centimeters. All right. Now, you notice that a big square has been removed, and this is where we need to look at this. 8 centimeters is the side length of the square. So to work out the area of the square, the side length equals 8. And so the area is going to be 8 times 8, which is 64 square centimeters. So the way that we 
calculate this is to say, okay, well, you've got a circle and then you take the square out. So the area total is equal to larger area of the circle, 153.9 minus 64. And that equals to 89.9 .9 square centimeters. All right. It's a difference. This is not got a square hole stuck out of the middle. So instead of adding the shapes, we say, okay, we'll take the circle, big circle, and then remove the square. And we get 89.9 .9 square centimeters. I want to do a third one before you have a go at some questions, which I'll write in. Number three, very similar. It's just that you have, instead of a square removed, you have a circle removed. So this is, you could think of this as a ring. So you've got a large square minus the small square. So, sorry, large circle minus the small circle. So let's start with a large circle. Large circle, we've got, okay, the radius is equal to seven centimeters. So the area of the large circle is equal to pi times seven squared. Actually, that's the same as the last one that we had. So pi times seven squared is 153.9 square centimeters. The small circle, the radius is equal to six centimeters. So the area of the small circle is equal to pi times radius squared, which is six squared. And that's equal to pi times, oh, pi times six squared, which is equal to 113.1 square centimeters one decimal place. All right, now if we do the total area, we have to subtract because you've got a hole missing. So you're taking the small one out. So it's the large circle, 153.9 minus 113.1, and that's equal to 40.8 square centimeters. And that's what we have, all right? 40.8 square centimeters is what we end up with when we subtract. So I'm going to write the questions in. We're going to be doing uh, the exercise again, working on some questions. I'm going to do another short little video. Where I'm going to add in some hints for some of the questions that we have. All right. Thanks.